Hi there everybody and welcome to the Man Cave. I am Van and today me and my quarantine Tash would like to talk to you about um, well catch cans. Um, it's one of those very divisive parts of the car culture. People hate them, people love them. I fall in the make sense, I'm gonna try it out camp and what I did initially is I went on Amazon and got a oil catch can. Uh, it's about 25 pounds and it arrived. Decent construction, uh, pretty good stuff. However, all was not good. Um, and eventually I re researched, re researched, good England there, um, rechecked all my calculations and then I settled on the Provent. 200 catch can as you can see there is a significant difference so let's put that to one side and just have a look so this is the what is it called on the box oil separator filter black made in China to the UK otherwise a black nondescript box um, in the box you get the catch can you get a air filter or breather filter you get one fitting for the breather filter to fit on top of the catch can and you get three 12 millimeter inner diameter fittings for the catch can itself you get a tech screw which is probably galvanized two washers, well two tech screws sorry, two washers and a galvanized clamp. Um, so the sketch can has a outlet and two inlets. I'm, I'm assuming if you've got a V V motor like a V6 or V8 that is why you would need two of them. Uh, it is however sold as a Ford Ranger catch can so I don't know why we have two of them so I guess one, one fits all and it comes with a bracket that you can fit to the side of your vehicle someplace and then adjust the orientation of the catch can by loosening these two buttonet screws. Inside the catch can you can see the drain or potentially see the drain, let's see that, there we go, you can see the drain plug at the bottom so you can either unscrew the catch can itself and then tip it out or loosen the drain and potentially get it all of your hands. So let's not try that um, then you have two inlets as you can see there there's like a little black deflector on the bottom of both of the inlets um, I'm assuming it's that's to to stop it from going straight onto the little drip plate that is on the air and also a copper filter that leads to the inlet um, the breather itself is connected to the inlet and I'm assuming that's to if there's any overpressure just to let the system you know, send the air out instead of having it sending it straight to the engine itself workmanship is okay it's black anodized um, it's quite you know, there's nothing wrong with this um, the problem I had was Close that. The problem I had was just the faff of trying to get um, reducing or expanding fittings. The pipe from the Ranger is a 25 mm pipe um, that that the breather valve attached to. So it was just becoming a noise trying to get the pipes, get, get the hoses, get the reducers, um, and I decided to go for something else. And I settled on the catch can, um, the Provent 200 um, crankcase ventilation system, as it is branded by Man Filters, which is made in Germany. And I got mine from a company called Western Filters in Australia, which sells this as a kit. Difference in price: 30 quid. Full kit with everything you need to get it fitted to your vehicle: 200 quid yeah choose your sides um, 
as I said, this one comes with all the pipes needed. There you go. There's the big pipe that runs from the crankcase to the filter itself. Then it goes through the filter and then that attaches to the filter and then into your airline you have a stainless steel well, let's turn that around stainless steel laser etched mounting bracket so this mounts to your vehicle so the the front somewhere I'll still have to figure out exactly where so it mounts like that and then the filter bolts to the sides like that um, and then a bag of hose clips um, four large and two smaller hose clips a ball valve m8 nuts washers and all the m8 nuts are a2-70 rated so stainless steel and a clear hose so how this works is you've got the cap which has got a pressure release valve built into it inside the filter itself remember this one was empty effectively empty inside apart from that splash bait this one has an actual filter element as the air from the crankcase comes in there it has to go through the middle of this filter element and you can just about see the, the paper um, filter material it's called a covalescence filter or something along those lines um, but yeah so the oil can collect on the filter the air moves through and the gravity eventually pulls the oil down the oil then collects into the funnel through this exit point at the bottom which then goes to your clear pipe that clear pipe then has either the ball valve attached to it or if your vehicle has a breather in the sump of your, your vehicle you can then connect it to that so the oil will go directly to your sump which is um, pretty good. What this also has is a pressure regulation, regulating valve on the side um, which allows the the pressure to be released if there's an overpressure for some reason within the vehicle which is which is a bonus the system comes with a province service with a 5% off coupon code for the next time you buy a filter and in here it says that the oil needs to be drained out every 5,000 kilometers or earlier and the element the filter element inside needs to be replaced every 40,000 kilometers or when oil wetting appears around the provent bypass valve um, and this is from again from westernfilters.com.au um, all in all good filter this it's made by man filters the plastic is decent and it kind of looks OEM once this is in the bucky I think it'll fit in quite well next to the airbox on the instructions itself you've got a step-by-step -step installation manual it shows you where the hose needs to go it shows you where to tighten the hose the ball valve and where the filter needs to go so next steps will be to get that all fitted and that'll be my next video Thank you very much for your time um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe and all those good things. Um, it's what people say after YouTube videos, isn't it? So click that like button. Thanks. See you later.